what's going on so right now i'm going to be showing you how to install your brand new graphics card inside of your beautiful computer mine's a little dusty so you have to forgive me i haven't opened it up in a while at least since i moved i just cleaned my liquid cooling off i need to get a blower in here to blow it all away anyway so the first thing you're going to want to do though is you're going to want to find your connecting your pin connector right here if it focus there we go so my graphics card is an eight pin connector and you can tell that by looking at your graphics card, see eight pins right there. So you wanna make sure that this thing is readily available. So I'm just gonna put that over here. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have two of the brackets taken off. So the easiest way to see what brackets need to come off, you can set your card in See right there? So it's not in the holes yet, but I just wanted to set it there. So now I know that you see right here and right here, I need these two cards taken out of two brackets. So I went ahead and unscrewed those brackets, which mine are already unscrewed. Um, my case does have an extra layer of security so stuff don't fall out. It actually has this little bracket here. So that way I can actually turn my card vertical if I want to. But so if you got that, make sure you take it out. And be careful if you go to grab this that you don't grab a blade because if you grab one of your fan blades you can actually physically break it by pushing too hard they're really flimsy <clears throat> and you want to make sure that see these this is a pci slot you want to make sure that you know your card is going to be able to fit long ways um, based on whatever slot you've got so mine will fit because my old card was kind of big See, it's the same size, but this one has three fans. This one has two ginormous fans. This is my GTX 1060. So, which actually had more input than this new one. So, uh, your next thing you want to do is, see I have a clip right here. Mine's metal. Yours might be metal or plastic. Uh, yours might just hang on the side, but I have to make sure my clip is down. You might not have to do that. When you're going to insert the card, you're going to want to insert... The end that goes here first, there's going to be a, there's a metal bracket, a metal piece, see right there with the hooks. You're going to want to make sure that goes in first right here, and then you want to lay it, this part down, put the microchip in here, and then push it as it goes back that way. Once you seat it correctly and push it in all the way, this thing will snap up. So let me hold this, and again, make sure you don't hit the, the fan, but... If you see on the outside, I am putting, see how I got the little bars inside first. And then if you look at this, there we go. Which might be a little hard to do. I gotta reposition myself. There we go. So you see, I'm gonna push the front first. See, I'm pushing the front and then the back side goes and see this metal piece will be flush with this as flush as possible and when you put your screws in you'll have to push the back a little bit see i'm gonna push it towards the back of the case see push it back and up a little bit that way i can screw a hole there and what i do is i always make sure i put one right there um hang on a minute, let me show you right here first and then i'll put this one there to back it up once you're sure that's seated properly you see that so you see, this hasn't seated all the way. I got something in the way. Right there, see the back clip is still down. Hang on one second, let me pause it. Okay, so once it's seated properly, then you can either screw everything in first or you can put your little clip right here. I am going to screw everything in and then I'm gonna put the little eight pin connector in. That way I don't mess up the seat. So give me one second. All right, so now that I got everything seated in properly, I will take this little clip, which I actually made it for my other card. So now I need a little more slack. I'm in a little different position now. You're gonna take this. Here we go. And you're just gonna seat it in. And see, it clipped. So now my card has power. So then after that, you know whatever however you're going to connect it mine has 
my video ports. Come on, here we go. Mine has two display ports. It looks like an HDMI, but it's shaped a little different. See how this side is curved like an HDMI? This side right here is square. Um, that is the best input you could have. It gives you the best quality. And then I have an HDMI um, and then another HDMI over here and another display port right there. But then you, after you put it in there, you put whatever video uh, component you want in there and fire it up.